All right, babe, you've been with me since the very beginning, okay? Since before we even made any of this money, by the way. It's okay? true. And for those, produce for the record, okay? She thinks this is obnoxious and insane too, okay? <laughs> I can tell you though, the big reason why we are doing this is to show other people, insurance industry, outside the industry, sales, real estate, I don't care, that if I can earn $117,361.13 with your help and a lot of other help along the way, at 20, anybody else can too. Okay? For sure. That's the real message. It's positive. Okay? Absolutely. It's a spin. It's, it's just to get your attention and help you. Okay. Uh, what were some of the things that, that you saw early on? Um, did you think this would happen, by the way? Because we started dating while I was part-time before I even became a full-time agent. Yeah. Um, Since December of 2010. Right? I knew there was something special. Yeah, we, what did you just say? December of 2010, that's when I got my license and that's when we first started dating, right? Well, I met you Christmas Eve of. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. What made you, well, well yeah, well, well, what about this? I realized quickly that if I wanted to spend time with you that I was gonna have to jump on board because. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> literally all the time was spent at work. So yeah. it was jump on board to spend quality time with you or our first date was at yin ching it was a yin ching and then i think you made me watch you know flipping no what did we watch ah oh, jeez louise is that stupid show uh <laughs> <laughs> cassie knows it yes she does okay whatever it is it don't even need to be it's mentioned. one tree hill yeah it's too many hills okay and trees okay uh <laughs> what <laughs> one too many okay <laughs> What, 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 what uh, uh, I mean, s s s looking back now, um, it seemed like such a big number. Yeah. Now it doesn't. I think over time goals evolve. So yeah. um, they change and you have to keep reaching for more. Being complacent right. is some people's biggest downfall. Yeah, and some people think, dude, Cody only cares about making money. You know, that's really not, that's not true. true, by the way. Like I, I'm just excited about the journey and the ride and pushing and getting creative and acting silly and stupid and helping people and all this other stuff more than the actual money. Because if it was all about the money, I would know how much money I actually have. <laughs> this is true. You have and not I, a clue. I don't. He doesn't even know how to log into the bank account. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I want, I want to push, man. I don't want to be thinking about all the other stuff. If, if we're low, uh, if it's too low, let me know. Okay. <laughs> if we're too high, it's not possible. So don't let me know. Um, and so we're, we're always thinking about, okay, how, and, and it's, it's more about what we're trying to accomplish. What, what, what did you, uh, I remember you helping me, uh, make calls. Yep. Helping me run some appointments. Yep. Um, there was a lot of things that like, do you have any stories you want to share of like things that we did together early on? Well, everyone told me that I couldn't get my license in a week and I wouldn't pass it on the first True. time. And so I was like, I think it's okay, less than you, a week. you think I can't do it? So here we go. I And she passed. Passed on first the first time. time, studied for I, a week. I failed it twice. I didn't pass my insurance license until the third <laughs> third time, by the way. So um, Means you're smarter than me. I wouldn't necessarily She's say. the brains. Okay. Okay, fine. Like cash she out of the bank. counts no, all the I'm money. Um, okay, trust me. She knows how much money's sitting here. She's taking it back to the bank as soon as we're done. <laughs> yes, okay. I am. She anyway, knows. I. Or you're taking it to to to, you the, told to me the mall. No. Do you remember the guy you? Told or you're me? taking it to the mall <laughs> to can't. shop it. Our mall doesn't you, have I'm, the stores that I Louis. want. Okay. Our mall doesn't have those stores. That's true. Um, Springfield, Missouri. I remember meeting um, a client at the bowling alley, and That's you right. were like, "Why are you meeting someone at the bowling alley?" What was alley? his first name? Not not his whole name. I don't even remember. Um, he was so kind. Man, I would know it if it hit me. Yeah. Yes, I remember that. And I'm like, Dude, we're not going to the bowling alley. I'm like, to yeah, I'm going to the bowling alley and meeting this guy. It's where he wants to meet at. So I met him and wrote the policy. Yeah. It was awesome. It was. It worked out really well. And I'm like, that is that is weird that we're going to meet um, a guy at a bowling alley. You know. So so uh, you thought outside the box differently than I did too, which was cool. I enjoyed designing your newsletters and yes people still miss those by the way really yeah yeah i just think it's just something different people like to get to know who they're working with and um that's true it was just fun well, looking back um what would you think the the biggest the, the best thing we did um and and potentially one of the biggest mistakes we made early on Biggest mistake was not getting on the same page quicker. So sure, I helped him, 
but there are times that I nagged you for... Especially when we got married. Yeah, especially when we got married. Nagging you for your time. A lot time. of nagging. <laughs> I hate that word, but I get it. <laughs> you um, use it first, all right? I know, I Defend know. Defend me here. I, um, that was the biggest, the biggest. I mean, the day that you came to me asking to buy a $1,000 coaching program, I was like, that was a really big deal to us, but I think that's what kind of pivoted the moment. How funny is that? We're like fighting over spending a thousand bucks of like personal <laughs> development, self improvement, uh, yeah. seven years ago, eight years ago, whatever. That's that's what's freaking cool. And now um, there's no budget for, for for books. There's no budget for self improvement and personal development. We, mm -hmm. we just spent another forty grand at a conference last month, <laughs> just because we know it. We've seen it help. Yeah, um, and I also think the one thing we did the best was work as a team. Yeah. I think we do that really well. It's true. It's true. Okay. That's why I've learned not to tell him no. That we work. <laughs> Doesn't this is, end well this is, for me. This is us working as a team. And oh. You hold half of that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's kind of crazy to look at this, honestly. Yeah, it is kind of nuts. It's it's uh it's cool though. It's so cool. I mean, it, we're gonna do it when we when we're gonna do it with a million bucks one day too. By the way, just oh. just for the record, this is thinking big and and planning the future, <laughs> setting goals, planning ahead. Uh, we will do this with a million bucks one day. And for, you guys watching can too at, at whatever point. What is your, what was one of the moments you were like, I think I know what the moment was, but what was the moment you're like, I'm meant for more? Ooh. I'm curious to know what you think it was. Because I've got some answers that are, that that's people. That's not the question. <laughs> yeah, but if it was. If it was. <laughs> He does that to me all the time. If y'all aren't using that clothes, <laughs> you should. I'm just letting you know that now. Is it working? It works every freaking time. Okay. Um, if it they, they was, want to know when you thought it was that it clicked, by the way. It was, so everyone thought, I'm not sure, some of you might be 1099, some of you might be W-2 employee, but buying a home as a W-9 1099 person is- Very difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. So, we, during the process of- The solution of, is to just buy a bank one day. <laughs> True. Okay. We're earning all of this money, and I remember you're like, I just made X amount of dollars last year, and they're telling me I can't get approved for a loan? Like, what is this? Yeah, because like, I was, but 1099 was still so new. And, yeah. And I'd only been doing it for a few years. And so I think in that moment it was, I'm going to make so much money that no one can ever tell me no again. That's right. And not only just make money, that sounds terrible. I don't mean it like that because if you know it, us, I you know it like that. I know you do, but I mean like there's more to it too. If you know yeah, us yeah, well yeah. enough, you know we love helping but people. Competitive people don't want to be told no. They don't want to lose. They they, 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 they don't want to, you know, uh, uh, Gonzaga just recently lost, you know. They, they wanted to win. Yeah, so we sold our first home, made money on it because a realtor friend came to us and said, hey, you can make X amount of dollars on your home if you sell it. And so huh. we sold it and... We actually woke up to another message about that with our current home this morning. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I was like, that, that's insane. Um, so we bought a, our next house and it wasn't as nice as our first house. And I think it was just those moments you're like, this ain't never happened again. Like, yeah. I'm meant for more. Yeah. We sold it and we couldn't find one, so we, 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 we settled. And I felt like I was moving backwards, for, we were, for a second. And that's not, um, nobody wants to do that. That's not fun. But also in that lesson, sometimes you have to take a step back before you can go forward. And it, woke everyone, me up. it, it wakes you up when you are forced to take those step backs. And um, it woke me up. How's that feel? <laughs> weird. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Yeah, everybody it's has that crazy. kind of money. It's crazy to me. Like this, I, I'm proud of where we've come from. Yeah, me too. I was getting, I was talking, uh, talking to my dad earlier and, and just talking about, and, and for him it was probably really weird, but he, he was, I, I was getting goosebumps just thinking about back then and some of the stories and some of the things that, that we've um, done and that we're trying to do. And, and Andy asked me a good question. I'm curious to hear your answer. He asked me, um, and I'm curious why, what you see in me that would make him ask this. And, and he asked, at what point did you realize you're successful? And I said, I don't think I am. He hasn't. He doesn't think it's successful and it drives me crazy, but. That's the point though. There's always a different level of, of whatever we're trying to do. Everyone defines it differently. 
Yeah. You don't necessarily define it by how much money you have in the bank, but no, just about- No, I don't know how much. I think- This is gone, so I've got whatever it is in there minus this. I think your success is, in your mind, what legacy am I leaving? Yeah, that's right. Which means it's we've got the focus in the right place, and that's that's what matters. Yeah. As, as people are gonna be like, dude, these freaking kids are nuts, man. I'm 30, I'm a kid, you're not anymore, okay? So, so this kid and this old woman are freaking nuts, okay? They're crazy. I wanna bring up something that your basketball coach said to you too. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever talked about this on video? I doubt it. So, Cody clearly works really hard in life, and it makes me cry because I know how hard you work. Yeah, I can work hard. <laughs> and this guy, one of the best high college basketball coaches, didn't ever give you a chance because you were handed a silver spoon. And I think- Because my parents weren't, weren't broke. Your story is different, like, you didn't come- when I was born, they were. You watched your dad work extremely hard mm -hmm. your whole life, so yeah. just because he worked hard and you saw what hard work looks like, it just irritates me that people say you were given a silver spoon or whatever. So I think that that's always lit a fire under you too. For sure. I've wanted to create my own success and, and help people in my own way. Yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, it's not something I mentioned just because, but it, it worked. It um, did. It worked because it was, it was <laughs> frustrating because uh, it was more about how I was raised and my current financial status than it was like um, my basketball talent level oh yeah like it was, it was always about like some of those other factors which i thought was totally insane for like we're doing we're playing a game here you know mm -hmm. it's Ain't, crazy to think that uh am i allowed to say what i did for you in college i did all your homework <laughs> helped okay they can come back and take my diploma <laughs> no, okay? damn come, I on do that? come on now come on now the family can't. joke is take i should have walked no. across the she stage helped. with she helped him. a lot she, you could have walked across stage. Uh, she, what's funny is she <laughs> would she this would write. Teachers. Which this is okay, by the way. She would. I would be in speech class. She <laughs> would write the speech, and then I would go give it with note cards. <laughs> it's so true. And I would be like I'm walking like, over, like, okay, what am I talking about today? How did you just get a hundred on something that you didn't even know you did before? Yeah, speech class. Also, at one point, my my teacher um, recognized me amongst. 50 students in a speech class. And I thought, man, uh, I have a chance to be a really good speaker one day, you know? And it's some of those moments where people are like, you, like you recognize it in me and me recognize it in you and all those other things. Like people recognizing stuff in you along the way um, is really cool, you know? Like I was a freshman in, high, in college and one of my, my first bas basketball coach in college said, you have a chance to be the best basketball player that we've ever seen come through this college. Now. I was nowhere near that because I focus on business more than <laughs> athletics. Um, but that really woke me up to to the potential if someone really puts in the work. Yeah, so. I, it all comes down to work. Like, What do you want to leave us with, Miss Lauren? Miss Lauren wants to leave you with... You want to give everybody some of this? Sure, why not? I asked him earlier, I said, should, should we drop this? What do you think about this dropping all of this from, not in brick form, um, but... <laughs> Drop this from the ceiling at 8%. So we dropped like, I don't know, 50, I, 10, 15 grand last year. This would be a level up. Tr it would be a level up and I'd make it a little bit trickier. Okay. There would be fans. But what I want to leave you with is most things are possible. You can't say, oh, I'm going to grow wings. That's not possible. All, you can get wings. <laughs> okay. Whatever you want to achieve is possible. It all starts in your mind. So Cody is the king of telling himself he can do anything. And I feel like anyone can achieve anything if you have that mindset. So I feel like what I want to leave you with is anything is possible if you believe in yourself. Money or, or anything outside of money. Okay, so don't believe in yourself. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. It, you are, you have like a special energy about you that you, like I'm telling you guys, you get to know this cat, I'm telling you, like he, he, he just, he, from a, like a relationship standpoint, personality standpoint, you're one of the easiest person 